Hello everyone, Bobby here. Uh, I am the actual founder and lead engineer here at Next Gen Labs. Thank God that card is really difficult to photograph. Anyways, here we go. We have a 3.2 inch Nexian screen. Uh, we had, uh, had a lot of problems with these uh, last week. And for the life of me, I don't know why. These screens have been really doing well for us for the last year, although we're using the 2.4 inch screens. Uh, the 3.2 inch screens, uh, I think QC has fallen asleep in China. Uh, we buy these uh, directly from Nextin. Uh, thus far, up until this issues, the, or the issues we've been having last week with the 3.2 inch screens, which you see here, uh, we've been having an extremely good success rate with these screens and uh, only very, very occasional white screens. So, moment of truth, here we go. Brand new, just opened from the box, just came directly from the factory in China. Here we go. We're going to give this thing a go. Okay, cross your fingers and drum roll, please. Let's plug it in. Uh, my switch is oh, my switch is not on. Ha! Ha! Here we go. This is what they're supposed to do. Now, if you don't see the boot up screen just like this, uh, every time you plug one in for the very first time, you've got a dud. You've got a defect. Either firmware and or hardware has failed and the quote unquote QC, by the way, there's always, oh, this is funny. Oh, you see, this is really interesting. I got to show you guys something. <laughs> see, there's that little sticker here in the front. And you take the little sticker off and under there, probably can't see it, but right there where my thumb is, right where the SD port is, uh, it says QC passed. And I'm going to tell you something that uh, I firmly believe in. I do not believe that that's put on by a human after testing. I'm pretty sure it's either just stamped on, maybe perhaps by a human, or just machined on. It's just a machine that stamps that on. So we'll leave that serial number on there. Yeah, interesting. Very. In by the way, if you want the serial number for the screen, you have to keep that sticker on there. That is the serial number then the model number is right here. So it's always good to leave these stickers on. Anyways, there's a 3.2 uh, Nexian screen doing what it is supposed to do. Let's give it a flash and see what happens. Hang tight. Should be very simple and straightforward. So we've showed you guys the procedure before on a 2.4 inch screen. First of all, you turn it off. So we have this on a switch. Okay, screen's off. You take the micro SD card with the appropriate 3.2 inch TFT file. It has to be a TFT. That's Tango Foxtrot Tango file to go in here. It's an uh, HMI, a hotel, Mary India, Mike India, Hotel Mike India if you're doing it directly out of the Nextian editor. And you can program these both ways. We've done them both ways. So anyways, here we go. Plug this in. It's a push-push. Push the lock. Turn it around. Like this. Okay, let's turn it on. Now if things happen the way the, the procedure is correct, when we turn this on, it will start loading that TFT file. So here we go. Looks good. Looks good. Hope you guys can see this okay. We have the camera stabilized finally. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay. That's real time how quick it is to flash these when you have a good, uh, good TFT Tango Foxtrot Tango image. So, what you do is you unpower the device, you remove the TFT file in the micro SD card and you repower the unit. It is supposed to be flashed. And there we go. 
Bingo Bongo Bungo. That is a proprietary custom made screen that we designed here for the Traveler. We'll be doing all the other screens as well. We do program these screens and we do all the graphics in house. So there is a successful 3.2 inch screen. I'm glad to see uh, that this one passed. Uh, we have a customer that needs it like yesterday. I understand, but we will never ever put out a product if we are not 100% solid that all the components have passed not only well in this case the quasi factory test over at Nexian but our test here which is the real test let's put it on again looks good now this screen will be powering on and powering off five six seven eight times uh, through the course of programming turn it off and back on Okay, this is how Nexian screens are supposed to program. That's textbook perfect. Now if we could just get all the screens from the factory that have been textbook perfectly, real, truly and genuinely tested and genuinely assured that they passed the test, this should be the normal experience for any Nexian screen. If you try to program one and you don't get this experience, you have got a dud okay but this is a good screen and once they've gone through a few iterations of power up uh, they're pretty solid the firmware and hardware uh, is good okay so this is Bobby KM6 IKH I am the founder and lead engineer over here at next gen labs and uh, this is a good example of a successful next screen programming segment have a great day in 73